Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mav the Wolf here, um, and welcome back to another video. One of the a video that um, I'm probably making a little bit too early, but um, whatever. It's whatever at this point. <laughs> anyway, I'm... Um, today's video we are going to be di discussing about um, some things that I've been hearing about that were happening at a... I don't know where to begin. There's a couple things I want to talk about, but I just don't even know where to begin. Um, hang on. Um, so I guess we can start off with, um, the issues I've been hearing about, um, at some furry conventions. Sorry if you guys hear a bunch of noise in the background. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about that stuff, and I'm not sure what the deal is with that. And yes, you guys, by the way, are seeing me play. Kingdom Hearts 2 in the background, but um, I've been hearing a lot about stuff like there's uh, some kind of pedophile that's helping out with the convention funding and everything like that, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to touch briefly on this topic because I still kind of have my doubts for some reason, um, because I don't know because it's the first time I've, I've heard something about this that's happening at a convention at least from what I've heard in the videos I've seen before. So I kind of want to touch briefly on this topic. So from what I've heard, this guy is actually a fursuit maker at Nate. So I kind of still have my doubts. So for all I know that he could be trying to improve himself, if, if I'm not mistaken. Because you never know if uh, he could be or not, but at the same time too, I still have my doubts. Um, it's, not also, it's not just that, but I've also... Um, I've also been hearing some stuff that like... Um, um, but, um, he did some kind of child pornography or something. Like, I don't know, but some of this could possibly be in the past, I I'm not sure. So, yeah, just, if you guys have any more details on this, because I am still curious on this topic, let me know in the comments below. But, um, our second topic of the day, I kind of wanted to touch on, um, so, so, seven months in the fandom, half a year, half a year of me being in this fandom, um, I kind of wanted to discuss briefly on this, um, because it's been quite a journey when I first started out and yeah I still got things to improve on here and there but I just want to kind of touch briefly on this because supreme. it's something that I feel like is important to me and felt like I should discuss with you guys so basically think of it as a story time video with also a bit of detail about some kind of pedophilia sort, sort of stuff about the latest uh, information that I've been hearing about so, like I said, I'm not, I'm not certain for sure, so I just hope this is just, this is just drama or whatever, but um, I'm still not exactly sure, but uh, back on the seven months of the uh, kingdom, uh, I'm going to go from my experiences to my feelings. Uh, to the last stuff I'm probably going to be showing up in this video. But, um, yeah, there's, it's been quite a journey. I can say that before. Um, but, um, yeah, just with that being said, um, so we'll start out with talking about... I think we can just talk about like, um, what I did throughout the fandom, I guess. 
Um, so what I, my experience is throughout the tournament, um, they made a really big impact on my life. Uh, and what I mean by that is, um, but, um, it's, there's a lot to say, like, it's just living in speechless at this point. But, um, I actually went to a Fermi uh, back in April last month. Uh, when I went there, it was like the first time in like a month that I actually had a smile on my face. And I was just sitting there just enjoying myself and everything. It felt like, it felt like I was at home. Um, so yeah, when I went back to the hotel, after everything was finished, um, I just felt like crying, to be honest. Sorry, I messed up there. But um, anyway, when I was at the meetup, I actually got to see quite a quite a few first suitors that um that um <laughs> actually brought me to blush and just everything that I got to interact with them and just it was one hell of a hell of an experience that I will never forget so just at this point it's, it's, it's always something that I'm gonna hold them I'm always gonna remember for years to come but, um, where did it go? Um, I don't even know what to say right now. Um, let's just say it was, it was, it was a party of a lifetime, I guess I can say that. But, um, but, um, sorry, I'm concentrating on the game, too. Um, so, uh, the impact. I can say right off the bat, there's been, there are a lot of impacts that I can mention right now. But, um, there are quite a few that I, I do remember. The first positive impact is how it just brought me out of the state of depression. And it just finally got me to open up after like months and probably even years of hiding myself. And I finally felt somewhere where I belong at. And for me to have that, it just felt like... It felt like a new beginning. So, yeah, that's one positive impact that is just always something that's gonna be memorable to me. And... I don't know if you don't even know what So... There are a lot of things I can mention right now, but I'm just, I'm just listening. also focusing on the game, so sorry about that. Um, man, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I actually... Oh my god. I don't even know where to begin. Like, if you guys don't know this, um... This uh, first shooter. Check out Doryu on Twitter. He has a Twitch. He has a YouTube. He ha it feels like he just has it all. He's the main impact uh, on social media that has changed my life for the better, and I cannot thank him enough. Doryu, Doryu, if you're watching this video, thank you, man. You literally have just changed my life for the better. I can't thank you enough. So. Shout out to him. Also, shout out to um, 
Anger uh, Amethyst or that wild hybrid on Instagram. You have also made my life for the better. It's just, it's unbelievable. So, uh, my future with uh, being in the fandom, there's a lot that I could uh, have planned, but I just got to go one day at a one day at a time. You can't rush life. That's a fact. But, um... You gotta take life slow, man. Also, there are having some negative things that have happened while I was in the cinema. But all that stuff I can care less about, because every single influence has... has it's just everything. Just everything was positive about being in this fandom. And I could, I could just go on. The list, the list is just. There's a lot of things I could say with the uh, positivity. But there's still a lot of papers to fill in, and I'm gonna figure out what those papers will have will hold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. Be sure to check out Doryu's channel, um, he has a Twitch, I will link everything in the description for everything. Um, I also have some convention plans this year, hopefully I can follow through. Um, and yeah, I think the furry fandom means everything to me and I thank you guys so much for impacting my life and just changing, changing my life for the better. I cannot thank you guys enough. Us. This has been Map the Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.